Hey, it's Andy with the Mandel team at Remax, and I'm here to bring you your September 2020 housing market update. So for the purposes of this video, as always, we're gonna be talking about single family houses in Boca, Parkland, and Coral Springs. Those are the areas where our team does the predominant amount of our business. And when we talk about Boca, uh, we're not gonna be talking about country clubs or 55 and over communities. So all ages, no country clubs. Uh, we're not talking about town, townhouses or condos either. So only single family houses in all age communities. So when we do these videos, we wanna give you the leading indicators of where the housing market is headed, not where it's been. So we're not gonna talk about closed sales price. We're gonna talk about the stats that show you where the housing market is actually headed in the future so you can make an informed decision for you. So the first stat we like to look at is the number of new listings hitting the market. So on average, that is actually up uh, last month about 13%, which is good. That's the first time this year where we've seen an increase in the number of new listings. It's showing that sellers are getting a little bit more comfortable with everything going on in the world and they're willing to put their homes on the market, but the number of pending sales coming on the market is also up 63%. So yes, we're seeing 13% new listings, but 63% more homes sold last month than they did in August of 2019. So more homes on the market, way more homes selling. They are going very, very fast. We cannot keep anything on the market. It's just selling like hotcakes. So the next stat we wanna look at is the days on market. So that is actually down 49%. So on average, we're seeing about two weeks is the median days on market. That's way down from 2019. Homes are selling very, very, very quickly. Just about any home, if it's priced correctly and in decent condition, it's selling with multiple offers in about 48 hours. Because we're in a strong seller's market, which takes me to my next step, is the month's supply of inventory. So this stat shows if no more homes were to come on the market, how many months would it take for all of the homes that are on the market to sell? So anything less than six months is a seller's market. Anything more than six months is a buyer's market. And on average, we're at 2.42 months of inventory. So really low inventory, which is a very, very strong seller's market. What does this mean for you? Well, if you're a seller, it's an excellent time to put your home on the market. Prices are you know, very, very high this year for single family homes. Uh, there, people are getting bidding wars. We're having a lot of people come down to South Florida from across the country, but especially we're seeing it from people in the Northeast. So New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, we're seeing a lot of people come down here and they're snapping up all the single family homes, as well as obviously all the local demand from people who want to take advantage of really low interest rates. So we're seeing interest rates below 3%. Uh, that's causing a lot of demand. Homes, even though the prices are a little bit higher, they're still more affordable than they were for the last couple of years because interest rates have gone down so much. So it's really affordable to buy a house right now. So sellers, it's a great time to sell. Buyers, it's a, it's a good time to buy. Interest rates are below 3%, so you can afford a lot more, like I was saying. You just have to be prepared up front to be in the bidding war and the multiple offer situation that just about every home is getting right now. So you, what does that mean for you? You have to be fully pre-approved up front. If you think, well, we'll just we'll get pre-approved after we find the right house, that house will be gone, I guarantee it, in 24 to 48 hours. So you have to get your ducks in a row so that way when you do find the right house, you're able to write the offer right away because if you don't write the offer right away, they're gonna have six, seven other offers. You have to make sure you're ready to, ready to go and you can write a strong, clean offer. So that's what people are looking for these days. So thanks for tuning in for our September housing market update. If you have any questions about the housing market down here, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. If you're moving to South Florida, we got your back.